All right, what's up everyone? It's the Mark Landian here, and today I'm doing a dual battery mount on this Walkie X3 Pro. I'll go over what I've done so far. I took a couple photos with it, so if you open this up right here, I'll do a photo of that right here. So there'll be uh, five screws you take out, and then there'll be a controller in there. So. I'll pop a little photo of the controller out and everything. And I got a uh, 2 into 1 48 volt converter. Put it in there. Uh, here's a photo of it plugged in. And then uh, it fit right over top of the 28 amp controller in here. And yeah, it was basically get this about, I'd say, three and a half. Three and a half foot cable. Uh, it's actually speaker wire, but most wires basically just the same. So I soldered an XD60 connector in here, put them together. Uh, then I put a piece of heat shrink around it so it doesn't get unplugged. So that should be good. Then I ran it the same exact way, right down through here, as the uh, brake light cable and then it just goes straight up into there so I'll put a couple photos as I was talking so what I did here was I'm mounting it about like this so what I did was I just I'm doing all this by eye basically so this right here uh, I'm trying to think this is eighth inch yeah so what I did was I measured from the tip of this right here all the way to back here that's where I got my measurement right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round across right here where this is gonna be slightly poking out up here just so it kind of matches I mean the battery is gonna be in there and you're not gonna see it but might as well do it and then because a couple days ago I was trying to rush to do this I have a uh, the holes measured out for the U-bolts I'm using to mount this. I'll grab those in a couple seconds. But yeah, I'm going to quickly round this out with the, well, uh, what's it called? Bench grinder. Yeah. I'll get back to you guys then. All right. So what I'm going to be doing is, uh, which side is it? Yeah, right over here. I'm going to put a light curve on each side of this to try to match that. You can see right up here, a little more of a radius on that. And, uh, yeah. All right, so you can see right here, I marked out all the holes, uh, replicating this, but more square. Basically, I'm using four of these little U-bolts. How I measured that piece right there out is, uh, I bolted these from underneath took a piece of cardboard, smashed it onto there to make the holes. I mean, these poke through the cardboard. And, uh, yeah. Man, it was like 30 minutes before I had to leave for something. I was trying to rush it. So that's very much not square. But, now I have all day today. And, yeah. Guess next up is drilling out these holes. And then cutting it out, putting it on here, it'll go right back here, across here. And then what I'm going to do is, right where this middle hole is, there's a uh, little brace here. So I'm going to have the U-bolts in the front butt up against this so it can't slide forward. The ones in the back are going to be against this back bar so it can't slide back. So I'll keep forward and back movement. Uh, obviously no left and right because it'll be mounted to these so there's no left and right and then 
up and down. Well, the bolted down. And yeah. Next is just drilling these out. I'll quickly do that. And uh, yeah. So I took this, straightened it out, rounded off the corners, drilled a hole directly in the middle. And then since the holes partially overlap this piece right here, what I'm going to do is notch it out so the bolts can go through. And yeah. So as you can see down here, I notched that out so you, the hole can go through. Well, the bolt, sorry. So the bolt can come through right here. And you can see that's how it's going to mount. U bolt goes straight under. I'll try to show you. Yeah. Just like that. And this plate comes with it. So I'm like, hey, might as well sandwich it down there. Maybe I can put some mop washers on it or something. The plan is, obviously, I'll put this one in. But, uh, I'm gonna cut this down, drill some holes for U bolts and for it to bolt through. So it's gonna go across. Uh, yeah. It's gonna go across about like that. So it's gonna be trimmed off here, rounded, kind of like this one. Same on the other side. And then. U bolts are going to go around underneath and they're going to butt up against right here. And yeah, should, shouldn't be too bad. Plan is, I'll, I'll try to show you. Uh, if you see, I put this base on here. This hole right here lines up with the uh, little horizontal right here. So I'll still be able to use all three bolt holes because I have it extended up like this. But, I'll be able to use that middle one to not only connect to this, but also connect straight to the little battery base. So that should help out quite a bit. Then I'm going to have a bolt right here. That should work pretty well. And yeah, basically all I need to do is put some uh, locking nuts on there. And yeah. All right, so you can see what I did here is I mounted my uh, U-bolts onto the frame. What I did was I pressed this cardboard against it, and then where the indents were, I took my drill there and, uh, well, drilled out the holes in cardboard so I have a little stencil of where all my holes should be. But then what I did was mark down the center of my piece of metal, marked about... I'd say little little further out from the edge of this of this uh, little metal piece here that they come with. So I'll cut that off the end, drill all the holes, and then it'll basically just be getting this piece here into the center of all of it, and then here we go. So I'll get back to you guys once I have that piece done, show you what I'm going to do next. Then, basically after that is mounting the actual battery. Alright, so I drilled all the holes. I accidentally did a size too big on this side, but it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, now it's basically just round off all the corners on this. Basically like I did this one here. You can see that. And yeah, uh, put that up here, then I'll start drilling the holes from on here. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, it's right here. Uh, to mount to this middle hole. But yeah, it, it should work pretty good. I'll get to, get to that once I have those rounded over. Alright, so got it bolted on with the U-bolts here. I have one hole drilled here. Yeah, it's offset, but I'm going to be doing another one right here. Because if you see, this is an elongated hole. So what I'm going to do is have one, two, which will connect both of these. And then one, one. And that should be strong enough to hold the battery, no problem. And uh, these U-bolts I got from Lowe's. I think they were like. 
two bucks each. Uh, metal is a three foot by inch and a half, an eighth inch thick. You can get that basically anywhere. I'm pretty sure they had it at Lowe's. I got it from Home Depot, but it was a little cheaper there. That's the only reason I got it there. And then the bolts I'm using to mount this are uh, get a Harbor Freight. You can get the uh, something like this uh, nut washer bolt assortment that. And uh, yeah, I'm just using a couple of these to go. Well, I'll show you. It'll go into the battery right here. And then once I line it up with the holes on the battery base, where it's bolting in, you can see it goes all the way down in there. And then, there we go. It'll bolt on like that. But yeah, I'm going to drill in the last couple of holes. And then... I guess throw the battery on and see what happens. I mean, I know it works with the battery in the cradle, but not sure about this. But yeah. All right. So I got all four holes drilled right there. And uh, what I'm going to do is I got my bolts here. So I'm going to do basically level is it's going to be bolt, washer, battery base, metal, and uh, not because the battery base actually is aluminum right here so I'm putting a washer there just so it doesn't pull the uh, pull the bolt through there we go but yeah you can see right in there all the holes line up right down in here and yeah I'll quickly bolt this in and show you guys all right now that's it all bolted in right there and uh, I got one of my batteries here. So it should be as simple as just laying it on there, pushing it back. And this is without the original battery in there. I'm showing you. No battery. Hold on. Lock this real quick. And then there we go. You got power. But yeah, there we go. Dual battery. I mean, I have the other one charging right up there. Slides into the frame. But yeah, dual battery. Uh, you know, pretty simple if you want to do it yourself. I mean, got to trim these off. That's really it. But yeah. Uh, I'll be doing a range test on this at some point. Uh, hope you like the video, subscribe, share it if someone else may like it, and I'll see you on the next video.